What is up, guys? Welcome to Blade HQ and Knife Banter Live. Whew. Live. Watch, watch your mouth, Zach. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> guys, today we're going to be looking at a bunch of knives around $100. This has been a requested video for a long time, and we finally are getting around to it. Yeah. So it's an exciting time. We're also going to pocket check Zach probably four times throughout the video. How many knives have you bought this week, Zach? Where you at? I bought three this week. <laughs> Holy smokes. We'll talk about that. I'm so excited. As well, just today, we uh, I got a phone call from a man named John. He uh, is from Honolulu, happens to be a customer, happens to be in Utah, and happens to be here in the studio. John, come on. <laughs> so I just met John, what, an hour and a half ago? Yes. And I'm like, John, do you want to be on Knife Banter? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so John, you were telling us that your wife and kids all watch Knife Banter. Is yes. that accurate? Yes. Say hello to them. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so John, you're going to kick off our knives around $100 today. What is in your pocket? What is in my pocket? Yes. Boom. Benchmade bug out. Benchmade bug out. <laughs> let's, let's stick it right there, yeah. So how long have you owned this one? About um, six months now. Six months now. It's about $114 on bladehq.com right now. So you can uh, buy it there. Prices, always check them because they are subject to change. Why did you buy the bug out? It's been blue. He's <laughs> a true knife nerd. <laughs> Look what you've done. <laughs> no, sorry. It's a great knife, though. It's an, it's an awesome, it's awesome, awesome knife. knife. Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. You're an Axis Met luck guy as well, yes, right? Yes. Yeah, you were saying you have like a, a dozen griptilians or if, something like that. Yeah, if more. If not yeah. more. <laughs> Why do you collect so many griptilians? It's just, it's a perfect knife. You know, it's light. Uh, the Axis lock makes it smooth. The edge is outstanding. The yeah. S30V steel. Winner. Love it, man. Awesome. Love it. So, bug out here and Griptilians in your collection. Roger that. You're the man, John. Thank you. <laughs> so, John also bought a couple of leather tags for our Continue Mission fundraisers. Thank, thank you for that. And no, John is you. also uh, LEO and military. So, thank you for that. Um, while you're here, do you want to know how much we raised but via these uh, leather tags? Yeah, yeah. $18,633 raised for Continue Mission. Thank you to you guys. Thank you to you, John. Seriously, that means a lot. All of that money will go to Continue Mission for veterans. So we are super stoked about that. Thank you so much. What a huge monumental effort. John, thanks for being part of that. And thank you for being on Knife Banter. I feel like we need to like give out free t-shirts. Like, yeah, right, right. I was what? on Knife Banter. I think he got a t-shirt, though. We did give him a t-shirt. He got a t-shirt, so. Got a t -shirt. <laughs> John, thank thanks, you, guys. sir. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for being thanks, on. Thanks, man. Thanks for the veteran support. Appreciate yeah. it. You bet. Take it easy. Thanks, man. <laughs> John was teaching me shakas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do it like this. You gotta, you gotta move it. You, know, you, gotta, you don't move yeah, it, it's not real. You gotta move it through it. <laughs> so that's the first on the list, Benchmade Bug Out. The next on the list is the what? Uh, we got the Spyderco Delica. And uh, when we're talking knives around $100, yep. Delica comes in right at 74 bucks. So if you have a $100 bill, get yourself a Delica, go out for dinner. Boom. <laughs> Boom. You got FRN Scales, uh, VG10 Blade. Just a great, great knife all the way around. Um, this is a knife that we've been seeing a lot of. Where we just filmed this morning uh, a knife banner about ladies' knives, mm -hmm. and we'll, that'll be coming out at some point. And the Delica was top of the list there as well. Nice. So. I own this one. This one's not mine. Yeah. But uh, I love the Delica, may I? Yeah. Uh, Four-way reversible pocket clip on it, beautiful grind on it, flat grind. And uh, mine, I've loosened everything up to the point where I can actually close it. I've seen, I've seen you flick that, that back lock People closed. have asked me a couple times, how did you do that? And honestly, I think it just, I've loosened the pivot a little bit and I keep it nice and lubed. Yep. And you can almost get it on the brand new one. It's a great knife. I like it. And with that feature, being able to close it one-handed, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with the back lock. Well, and that color. I know. I feel like you front-loaded this a little bit with a particular color. Well, we weren't going to, but John <laughs> had the bug out. That's true. We That's true. To. That's true. That wasn't a plant. He really did have the bug out. So <laughs> the next one on the list is the Spyderco Chaparral. Possibly and, uh, Ben's new knife. Maybe. So I've been looking at this guy. It's got all the features of the Delica that I like. Yep. It's lightweight. What's, what's the weight on it? Two ounces? Uh, yeah, it's super lightweight. It's, the, I the think blade it's length. right at... Uh, yep, right at two ounces on that. Blade length is right in that sweet spot that yep. I love. And uh, it's got that flat grind as well. I like this knife a lot. Now, one, one thing that you'll notice in the around $100 category, a lot of these knives are FRN handles. So fiberglass reinforced nylon or some sort of polymer. Basically, 
It's a fancy name for plastic. I'm not going to bullcrap you on it. It's a fancy name for plastic. But it it works better. Yeah, it's not like Ninja Turtle action figure plastic. Right. Right. It's it's a fiberglass it, reinforced. Exactly. It's a high impact plastic. Nylon plastic. That can take that can take a beating. Right. Yeah, totally. Um but that's one thing that you'll see throughout this particular price range. You're either looking at FRN mm -hmm. and a higher end steel, uh, in some cases, or you're looking at and you know. I guess I shouldn't say that. Some are FRN, yeah. but it, it does span a pretty wide range. I was going to say, in this price range, you can really, and, and, and that's what we're going to kind of see as we dive in here, like, you can kind of get a knife for like any season, sure. any purpose yeah. um, in this price range, which is pretty sweet. One thing I do like about this one, though, is it doesn't feel particularly plasticky. Yeah. Compared to, say, a Delica. Yeah, the Delica does feel a little more plasticky. This feels al almost like a G10. Almost like a G10. And the same thing with the next knife, which is the, the Mini Grip. The Mini Dude, Grip also. That was such also. a smooth transition. Oh, yeah, you know? It's like I've been practicing. <laughs> I know. But we haven't. This is live. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wasn't even intentional. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, so, so the next one on the list is the Benchmade Mini Grip. Uh, you get that awesome access lock, uh, I believe S30B? No, no 154. 154. 154. 154 yeah. with this one. Yeah, yeah, 154. And it uh, goes for about 94 bucks, 95 bucks, just depends. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, classic knife all the way around. I'm a huge fan of I the access know. lock. Yeah, yeah, you got one of these too. I do. See, this is another thing I feel like knives in, in the $100 range, you get a lot of Ben size knives. You do. Range. You get yeah. Ben size and Ben cheap sucker range. Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> no, it's. And yeah. You and I kind of talked about this as we were getting ready for this particular banter. I'm of the opinion that around a hundred bucks, you start to see diminishing returns. Yeah. Where it's like, yes, you can get a better blade steel. You can get a better fit and finish. You can get a better handle material. But after that hundred dollar mark, to me, it's like, uh, now, you, now you're adding rims, you're adding like fancy tires. Yeah. It's, it's not necessarily the stuff that I want. See, I need a cutting tool. See, bro, I grew up in the ghetto in Vegas. I love the rims. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to, should we go there? Should we? Oh, let's do we it. see what's in your pocket? Let's today? do it. Let's do it. Do you want all what's in my pocket? You just want one right now? No, we're going to start with one. One, one right yeah. now. Which one do I want to start with? Uh, no, I'm going to start with. I'll start with this one because I've been I've been waiting on this one since January. Oh man, a lot of you guys have been waiting on this one since January. Oh man, but yeah, I got I got my my Kershaw Natrix, my mm. Copper Natrix. Mm. This one's yours. Yeah, huge shout out to uh, Stefan who helps process orders and stuff here. I've been pestering him a lot. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Thank he, you. He finally <laughs> said, "Get off my back." Get off my knife. back. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously we had to make sure that you guys that had pre-orders and stuff all got them first. That's obviously much more important. But. I finally got one in my pocket today. Very excited. That's awesome. <laughs> so I, I'm really stoked to see how these things patina. Yeah. Over time. I'm so excited. And for I know that. some guy just received his his in the mail tonight and he's patinaing it oh, yeah. as we as we're speaking. But I'm curious to see how it patinas uh in pocket, yeah, because everyday I'm, use. That was the whole reason when when I dealt with this, because I, I was the one that talked to Kershaw at Shot Show, and yeah. so I got to touch this thing at Shot Show, and uh, ever since then I'm like, no force, no nothing. I just want to see this thing from use. So D2 steel, it's got the copper obviously, and yeah. then uh, deep carry pocket clip. Honestly, it's, it's it's in my range. It's such a rad knife, and we're talking about knives under a hundred. This thing's right under a hundred somewhere. I can't remember the exact yeah. price on it, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I bought three knives a day. I can't remember all of them. <laughs> <laughs> or not today, but this week. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna need to like set up a like a little spot so you can sleep here because you're not gonna make your rent. It's just, <laughs> eh, probably. I love it. <laughs> love it. Okay, we were just talking about the Griptilian, and we didn't talk about the other part of the Griptilian. Yeah, the, the regular size. The regular size. John's Griptilian. favorite knife. That was just John's gone. favorite knife. Um, I want to show you this one because there are options in the Griptilian family. This is not around a hundred. You're looking at much more on this guy, but I feel like the size comparison is pretty important. Let me see if I can get them both in frame for you there. Boom. So you look at these two knives, and then Zach, I'm going to need your hand here. Here it comes. Uh, can you grab that bug out? Mm, the bug out. I bug came out. to a realization yesterday, Zach. Yeah. I've been crying ever since. Can you can you get that guy in there? So oh, yeah, knives? yeah. I remember this. Okay, you I can kind of see him. That's a cluster of knives there. <laughs> I don't think they're going to make a mini bug out. They're not going to make a mini bug out. Do you know why? <laughs> it's, it's the blade lengths are too close. Yep. Exactly. I'm so sad. <laughs> Hans, if you're watching, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand the market. I understand the marketing, but a mini bug out would make my day. It's, you, just go, you, should just, you just have Hans make you a custom one. I know. I know. It's just that stupid. I like to be able to hit the end of it. I know. Hey, we all, we all got our things that we, we all got our Let things. us know in the comments, guys. What's some things that you specifically love about a knife? You won't buy that knife unless it has that thing or 
Your favorite, one of your favorite. No, I love the bug out, and I want one bad. That's yeah, great, but I won't buy it. I love it because I know that the blade length's more than I want. Ah, uh, man, you should borrow mine for a while. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Guys, where this is a live banter, feel free to leave your comments in the live stream on your phone, whatever. Yep. And uh, Zach, you're kind of monitoring. Yeah, I'm kind of. Any, kinda any good comments on there that we should address? Uh, there's been there's been a couple good ones, but I didn't I didn't want to interrupt you earlier. Interrupt me. Uh, somebody did ask when are the copper nitrix going to be back in stock. Uh, don't quote me. Uh, but if I'm, all of the employees weren't buying. Them. And if we didn't buy them all, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they'll be back in stock. I think around next week sometime. Um, but honestly, guys, like how we waited for this thing and everything, anyways. Yeah. That's that's a big maybe. So hopefully next week. Good question. That's that's the plan. Any other questions while we're here? Uh, nothing that I'm seeing specifically. I got a question for you. Yeah, go for it. Do you like my shirt? I love your shirt. Thanks. I actually really do. I think it's a cool shirt, and the color is love nice. that color. <laughs> I think the people will like this shirt. Too. I think the I think that's you guys, all I'm gonna say. I think you guys gonna like this that's shirt. All I'm gonna say. Just keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> Maybe not today. No, not keep, today. But keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> What's next on the list, Zach, in the Our, around $100? Uh, next, we've got the uh, Vanguard, the Laconico Vanguard, and or Vanguard. Pfft. Gemini. This is the Gemini, but Correct. the Vanguard series of yeah. the Gemini. Um, so the regular Gemini has got uh, titanium and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, this one is, this is, is, it, this is a G10, isn't it? That is G10. This is a G10, yeah. and uh, I think VG10 blade on this That sounds one. right. That sounds right yep. for Kaiser. VG10. Yep, VG10. So yeah, so G10 handle, VG10 blade, great little user. Like nice. all the way around. Uh, this thing goes for 80 bucks. And uh, something that Kaiser does really well is just that action. Yep. Like it feels so nice. So great little knife. Uh, you were saying earlier when we were looking at this thing, you were a little concerned, maybe a little too grippy on the G10. I don't think this would tear your pockets up. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's just right. Yeah. Just enough that if I got mechanic hands, yeah, I can still use you're my probably knife. Right. Yeah. You're, you're probably right there. So that's an interesting thing about handle materials. So you've got a G10 here. You've got an FRN here. But between the two, they're probably going to rip your pocket up the same. Maybe not even rip it up, but right. wear your uh, pocket. The wear would be similar between Correct. between the two. Correct. Yeah, Versus yeah, yeah. more of a smooth G10 on, yeah. this, on this Benchmade Griptilian. Not in the $100 range. My apologies. Yeah. Not trying to lie to you. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Size but, comparison. Uh, yeah, size comparison. <laughs> but I think that's something that when I'm buying a knife, I'm actually thinking about too. Because you can spend 100 bucks on a knife and then spend $300 as it rips your pants yeah. apart for the next... Ten years, you know. Yeah. Well, and not just not just the scale until, but also the clip. Yep. The clip is another huge thing. Um, I've I've bought knives where I've had to alter the clip or get a new clip. Yeah. Because it's just not going to pan out. Yeah. And I don't like you said, I'm I'm not going to not carry a knife, but I also don't want to rip my jeans up. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us in the comments on this live stream what you think about ripping up your pockets, and is that okay? Is that some guys wear it as a badge of honor? Some guys, it's it's a thing, you know? So right. let us know. Let yeah. us know. If you guys see me looking down, it's me checking comments. So it's not me checking texts or anything like and that. And if you see me looking down, I'm looking for mice. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> I think at some point, Zach, we were supposed to have a commercial break in here, but I don't remember where it is. Do you remember? It's it's, it's right after this SE knife. Ooh, so why don't you talk about the SE, because I know you love that SE3. I do. Okay, so guys, next up on the list is the SE3. Made in Los Estados Unidos. That's the United States. Can I say that? Oh, you just said it. We're live. Yeah. Let's we, do it live. Should we do the rest of this in Spanish? <laughs> With my, your construction Spanish? My, mine's my... just construction Spanish, man. <laughs> I mean, and I can ask you where the hammer's at. <laughs> I love it. So this is the SE3 uh, made in Idaho Falls, just up the road from us. My car to handle on it, handle scales, 1095 steel. And when you're talking about knives around 100 bucks, I think you've got to have a fixed blade in there. This one's 109 currently on Blade HQ. Check for current prices. I own the SE4. And it's a fantastic knife. The SE3 is just a just a hair shorter, and I think if I were to buy again, I'd probably get the SE3. Get the SE3. Yeah, it's just it seems a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller, and uh, just a stellar knife. The sheath on it has excellent retention, and in the hundred dollar range, great knife. I mean, yeah, I mean, in the hundred dollar range, this is an incredible knife for for that yeah, price. Yeah, I mean, if you're backpacking, if you're hiking, yep. if you're making campfires in your backyard. I actually keep my SE4 in my garage on my pegboard. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of just like this all purpose. If the screwdriver won't do it, the SE4 will. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the great part about that right. is the, the stellar warranty. Sure. Right? Like they've got a no questions asked warranty. So sure, use it as a screwdriver. In fact, I, I've seen one. these at SHOT Show, they had this, <laughs> this sign in their booth, in the SE booth of like tortured knives, like that had been through fires and like broken in half. like. Your heart kind of aches for them, but no questions like asked warranty. Yeah, which is which pretty is rad. Pretty darn cool for the SE. 
Hey, is it commercial break time? Dude, I think it's commercial break time. Let's see if we can make it so, happen. So this is live and Jamie's gonna push a button and commercial break. Hey guys, we had to take a quick break from the live stream. I have to show you these Laconiquins. They're called the Easy First Production Run and they are live on bladedhue.com this coming Wednesday, November 21st. Make sign up for the wish list. Make sure to get there on time. All right guys, and we're back. Hopefully that worked. <laughs> no, Otherwise, you were just staring at us. <laughs> Which would be in there. entertaining. It would be pretty honest. funny, right? I feel like every live thing always has that thing. I think right? so. Like, oh, are we live? I think it should. Yeah. So, uh, so next on next on the table, we've got the uh, Kershaw Launch One. Obviously, it's an automatic knife, made in the USA, um, aluminum handle, and uh, 154. 154 yeah, cm. 154 cm. Yeah. Um, Actually, excuse me. C CPM 154. Oh, CPM 154, yes. There is a difference. easy to mess up. Yeah, there is a difference. CPM 154 blade steel. Um, I love the Kershaw launch series. And and again, when we're talking, this one goes for about 95 bucks, but there's there's a handful of launches kind right of in this range, bucks. and like, they're amazing. Yeah. I mean, made in the USA, super, super snappy. I mean, right? They yeah. feel great. And uh, this one's got a, a two-way pocket clip on it as well. Nice. So, left or right hand. I love the, uh, the spine of the handle on this guy. Mm -hmm. Just kind of a nice touch. To it. And it's, it's like it's interesting. Yeah, you got you got a knife that's sub hundred dollars. Like you don't have to do that, yeah, <laughs> right? Like, totally. It doesn't need the flare, totally. but Kershaw puts in a little extra love on these launches, yeah. and, and they do a great job with them. Thoughts on the burnt orange? I actually like it. Do you? Yeah, it's mm. not it's not my like all the time would I carry that gem, but I think the burnt orange works with the black blade. If this was a yeah, satin blade, fair. I don't think that I'd that's be into fair. it. Yeah, because yeah, it's kind of Halloween colors now. I used to have this dress up, this like shirt and tie shirt. Yeah, that was this color. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thrift store diving, man. So, how old were you? How old were you? Uh, hang on, uh, let me tell you the story. Let okay, story. okay. <laughs> so uh, I studied broadcast journalism in school, and I had to be on camera, right? Which I hated. Like, and I'm like, this is so stupid. I hate it so badly. And uh, but my professor, you had to be, you had to be like broadcasty. So yeah. I went out to the thrift, the thrift store and bought all of their like semi decent right. collared shirts. <laughs> One of them was this burnt orange color. And eventually my wife was like, get rid of that. That's it's like, amazing. you can't be on camera in this burnt orange shirt. <laughs> so right. anyway, I'm glad I'm not on the news. Yeah. Because this, this is more fun than the news. Not on the news with your burnt orange shirt. <laughs> I know. That's amazing. I wish we could, uh, if this weren't live, I would go dig out a clip because it's, it's pretty amazing. That'd be incredible. That'd be incredible. Um, now you Sorry, me, that you, was a total sideshow. You we asked me that when we're live. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's great when we're live. Um, you asked me what's in my pocket. What's in your pocket? Ooh, I'm going to save it. Okay, you're gonna save and it. I'm gonna save right. it because it actually goes along it, with the uh, Iona. I did see end. what you had in your pocket. You are correct. But I know that you've got multiple knives in your pocket. So what else is in your pocket, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two. Number two for the week. Yes. All right, number it. two for the week. Dude. I had to do it. I had to do it. Had to do it. To this him. knife was made for me. Come on. <laughs> are you kidding me? A buck one ten auto in my Carta in brass. Okay, how much did you pay for this? Uh, I don't. Know. I think they go for like a buck fifty or something like that. Okay, so you didn't even you didn't even like buy it in the range of what we're talking about this week. Oh no, yeah, no, this is. You just had to have it. I had to have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bought this the day, like literally the minute it launched. I went around this thing. Oh yeah, hands down. Uh, I, it seems like you've done that three times this week. I have done that three times this week. <laughs> Actually, one of them hadn't even technically went live just On yet. On our next knife banter <laughs> episode, financial freedom, <laughs> <laughs> and how to find it while you cuddle your knives living in your car. <laughs> So anyways, Buck 10 Auto. I love it. It's just great. It's a great knife. So yeah. that kind of goes along with where we're at in the in the Yeah, we're, we're kind here. of in the, the automatic the auto world. Section. Yeah, yeah. So the next auto we're looking at here is the ProTech Sprint. And a great little automatic knife made by the good folks at ProTech. This one is going to run, if Zach will turn the page here. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was checking comments. I don't right want to ignore too much. 99, nope. Yeah, yeah, 99, yeah right around 100 bucks. So uh, this one... I think there's a I think there's a range here where it starts to be a little short and stubby. Yeah, this would make a great box opener. Yeah, we were actually having a conversation today. Uh, the the, the yeah, you got the table with that one. Very good. The uh, the Kershaw Launch Four right is yep. also a little guy like this, uh, California legal, and um, we were talking about that today. It probably has other utility. Obviously, it's still a sharp sure. blade, but for the most part, boxes. And a lot of guys I know that are into knives who work yeah. in a warehouse. They carry a uh, launch for or you know uh, one of the project variants. You know, it's funny. I, I always see this online where people are like, "What do you use your knives for?" Oh, you know, to open new knife boxes. <laughs> it's cyclical, folks. Yep, 
I, d I did that just today, actually. <laughs> anyway, I, I like this one. I think it's a great little knife. It's yeah. got, Protect does that thing I love, the recessed pocket screws. Yep. Talking is, about tearing up your pocket, right? Yep. yep. Which is nice. Um, this one's good. So one note about autos, you can buy a few autos in the in the $100 range. It depends on what you're looking for size-wise. Yeah. This launch one, if you were to open this, a, uh, I don't know, a symphony? <laughs> I don't know. If you, if you were to open this in a non-knife friendly place, right, for people sure. are going to freak out. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus, I remember uh, you and Dave had a conversation about soccer games or baseball games or something. Yeah, right? this you, is probably in the freak out range. Yeah, you open something like that, especially the auto action. Especially in that burnt orange. Yeah, exactly. But you open but, something uh, like this, but I still think the auto action has something to it. I it think does. there's still something people... Oh, absolutely. Right? Like, we, you know, we were talking about women's knives earlier today, and when you're talking about women's knives, a lot of women don't like autos because it just it feels too yeah. much, right? Yep. So... Absolutely. Yeah. Any comments we need to hit? Oh, let's check. Let's see. While you're looking at that, uh, I'm curious what you guys are carrying. It looks like it looks like there's some lag. Oh, okay. People people are saying there's some lag. So uh, we tried a, a live the other day with uh, a cell phone. A lot of you guys tuned in and watched it, which is super cool. <laughs> and now we've gone like full hog with a fun setup. <laughs> and that might be why we're seeing a bit of lag. Yeah, that might be it. Any comments there that we need to address? Uh, Michael Warnock wants to know how he can grow a beanie beard. <laughs> Don't it's know. like your beanie and your beard just like <laughs> come together. Uh, yeah, people just dropping what they're carrying. Lots, lots of act, lots Wait, of comments what are, about what are lags. people carrying today? But we got the weird is carrying a Mannix too. Jacob hmm. Yao is carrying a Benchmade bug out. Colin Cren. Carreño mm. is carrying a Manix XL. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kevin Thomas, Benchmade Phaeton from Blade HQ. There we go, buddy. I'm yes. All about that. Uh, Brandon Cooper is carrying a Sog Kiku folder. So can we can we talk about the Phaeton for just a second? Let's talk about it. There's not an OTF on our table. There's not. Because most OTFs are going to run you much more than $100. Yeah. So even the Phaeton, I want to say the Phaeton is like $250. I think it is in that range. So here's my theory on OTFs. This is just my personal theory. I've got an F16, right? AKC F16. Yes. Your Slurpee one. It's Yeah, yeah. I, and I drew Slurpees and pizza on it. And it is literally the only OTF I need. Because for me, yeah. and I would an OTF is, is it's the fidget factor yeah. with an OTF, totally. right? And those those F16s, they hit great. Yeah. And they're and it's it's a low, low entry OTF. Sure. Right? And I've actually used the thing for real and did fine. So. so, but that one's running about 50 bucks. Oh, yeah, like 50 bucks. There's yeah. not really... In that kind of $100 range. $100 auto. No, not or, really. uh, uh, OTF. OTF, yeah. I'm curious. Do you think Kershaw could pull off what they've done with the launch series in an OTF? 100%. I think so. Do you think they will? I don't know. I hope so. I've heard I've heard a lot of people comment Jim McNair, about it. this one's for you. <laughs> Make it so, sir. Make it so. <laughs> All right, next on the list, guys, is the Boker Urban Trapper. Oh, I flicked it bad. Yep. Should we try that again? Try it again. There. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fix it in post. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Booker Urban Trapper. And uh, this one's a great little knife. VG10 steel on it. Brad Zinker design. You've got a D-carry pocket clip with those recessed screws that just do it for me. As well, you've got this carbon fiber on this model as well as the titanium frame on it. I have thought about buying this one multiple times. Yeah, this one I know has been on your list. And I haven't pulled the trigger yet. It's it's an awesome knife, and when we're talking a knife for it runs about 105 bucks with titanium and carbon fiber, and you know it's a VG10 yeah. steel, so I know some guys that's a deal breaker. I've never personally had any problem with VG10, sure. um, and a deep carry pocket clip. Man, it's a killer knife. Can I can I tell you why I haven't bought one? It's too long. Well, beyond that, oh, so okay, the, okay, the okay, FR okay. model is a little bit smaller. The, yeah, the FR is. Uh, a little the bit FR smaller. is actually right in a beautiful knife range for me. Yeah. Um, I like my knives to do everything. Oh, okay. So. I want to be able to take it with me wherever I go. Right. Versus like this guy, I feel like that blade. He's long. He's skinny. Like I'd almost feel bad taking this camping. Yeah. I think if a knife feel if I feel bad taking it camping, I probably wouldn't buy it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think. Do you know what I mean? I'm just I'm such I just use everything. Yeah. So like I guess I just don't. Consider it a ton. Like Do I would just. Feel, would you feel bad using this? It, no, it I just would, feels too proper yeah. for the. Yeah, no, it's def it's definitely a, it's definitely a classy gentleman's yeah. knife. That's for sure. So I like this one though, and the uh, also looking for kind of like a little bit more girth in the blade. Uh, check out the FR yeah. from Boker, and this one comes in Coco Bolo as well as some sweet titanium, yep. which you could anodize. 
Exactly, which is always awesome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list. This, this is the giant mouse Iona. And uh, this is a Jesper Voxnes design. Well, uh, Voxnes and Anso mm -hmm. design. Uh, it's just amazing. Why do you love it? So it's just sub $100. Just sub right $100. around $100. Yeah, yeah, right around $100. Uh, M390 blade, FRN handle. It's got that awesome Anso. Wait, did you say M390 blade? M390 Can blade. Can we talk about that for a minute? M390 blade. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've seen a couple comments. Some of you guys in the comments here have, meant, have brought up the Kershaw Dividend. And mm -hmm. I think the link, is it the link? No. Anyways, Kershaw has two. I think, I think the link as well. It is, yeah. yeah. Kershaw also has two knives that have an M390 blade, and they're running like 70, 80 bucks. In the $100 range. In the $100 range, range which is pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, so all, all really great options, but, but this thing, it just, it feels great in hand. It's got that awesome, like, Voxnes feel to it, Anso feel to it. Yeah. It's got the deep carry wire clip on it. Just great all the way around. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked that you can get M390 for 100 bucks at this point. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I mean, even the fact that you can go out and buy an S30V knife, for I don't know, a little over 100. I mean, yeah. The the bug out is it what 114? Yeah, something like that. 114. Yeah. The fact that you can buy those at that range. I mean, five years ago, the only knife that you could buy, well, very few knives had a S30B, but you were basically paying Sabenza prices, right? For S30B. Yeah. Well, and, and I mean, for reasons because right, Chris Reeve had a huge hand in totally in in, in developing, developing it, which is still, yeah. fantastic. But to me, it's exciting to see the prices coming down a bit. It Really cool. um, so I want to show you this too. So you wanted to know what's in my pocket. Yeah, today. what's in your pocket? I have a uh, Fox Zero, and uh, this is an interesting concept here because you have the Fox Zero, which has been out for years now, and then you have this giant mouse. That uh, I mean, those are brothers in oh, yeah. my mind. Oh yeah. Which makes sense because this is also an an ounce, an ounce of design, design, right? Yeah. And the fun thing about this is yes. Gave it to me. Yeah, that's right. When I was at CRKT, we were at dinner, and Jesper pulls this out of his pocket, and he's like, hey, uh, check out what I've got. I'm like, man, I love that. He's like, it's yours. That's <laughs> sweet. That's awesome. Really nice of Jesper. But it's also fun to see kind of, I, I think one thing I've never loved about this particular knife is that uh, kind of that nubbin there mm -hmm. on the, can we call it a nubbin? The reverse choil? Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling Just it make a up nubbin. A word. I like it nubbin. It's more official. <laughs> that nubbin on the end is always a little bit kind of in the way in the okay. road when you're when you're holding it. Yeah. Uh, I feel yeah, like you on the Iona. Yeah, you definitely don't get that with the Iona. So it, maybe that it was feels great. maybe that was the the onso factor there. Mm -hmm. And Jesper's like, bro, round it up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they talk to each other that way. Bro, bro. <laughs> what's what's bro in Danish? Brude. Brude, probably. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, any any comments there, Zach, that we need to address yeah, while we're see. while we're living? What do we got here? S somebody said probably para seventeen. I don't know what that means, but I thought I it was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any any uh, plans? Uh, this guy does stuff. Any plans for more marbled carbon fiber trappers? No, no, I don't think so. None of this time. Yeah, I mean, it might come back, but nothing, nothing I, specific I doubt right it. now. I doubt it. Which is an interesting concept. When we're talking about exclusives, typically at Blade HQ, we run an exclusive and then it is gonzo. Mm -hmm. So maybe not gonzo gonzo, but like gone. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit of knife punnage in there for us. Um, <laughs> anyway, when we, when we make an exclusive, we typically do a run of however many. And sometimes we'll get more. A lot of times it is gone. So if you see an exclusive that's a Blade HQ exclusive, Get on it. Um, it's kind of like this drop factor. It drops. Yep. It's here. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, so. it's it's very likely. Somebody did ask a good question. It was uh, Chris Gines. He says, if you had one knife for the rest of your life, what would it be? Such a deep question. It's such a hard... It's like, it's like if you could only watch one movie for the rest... It's, it's just a, it's a hard question to is answer. It, is it just knives or multi-tool too? Because at the end of the day, I'd take a multi-tool. I think at the... I, yeah, see, I would too, right? I'd take a surge. But I think at the heart of the question, it's knife. Okay. So if you could have one knife for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, Benjamin mini, mini bug out. <laughs> so for your hypothetical question, you're going to give a hypothetical knife. Yeah. Perfect. Love yeah. it. Love it. Um, <laughs> I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I, I might have found it. I might have bought it today. Yeah, that buck 110? Nope. The other one. Oh, yeah. You have another <laughs> knife on you. All right, let's see it. What you got? I haven't used it yet, so I can't say definitively. It's, it's pristine. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, story time. So there I am at my desk, just doing my job. Clickety-click-click. Clickety-click-click. 
<laughs> and uh, I hear like Jamie, our videographer, he's sitting over here. He like starts running. And Zach starts running. And then Andrew starts running. And I'm like, what is going on here? And the spider co no, the bench made Puko yep. had just come in. We I think we'd gotten three or four previously, and we just got a whole pack of them. So the employee purchases were on. Yep. And it was like the running of the bulls right there. And you got your Puko. I got my Puko. I am so excited. I uh, I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be out in the in the wild this weekend, so I'll get a chance to put it to good use. Zach in the wild? Zach in the wild. <laughs> yes. I love it. So, yeah, so that's uh, may I? I oh yes, I please really, do. I haven't really spent time with it yet. Yeah, I was I was a little worried about the rubber handle, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Like it, it turns out it's great. I was thinking, uh, and Andrew was actually had the same idea of doing a different scale on it, but as, as it stands, just having it in hand, I I think it's awesome. Andrew's so, gonna put a new scale on his. Uh, he was thinking about it as well, but how but do you he, how do you get this? Out? Do you melt this off? Uh, I would personally, I would just cut it just off cut and it clean off. it. Cut it, cl cut okay. it, scrape, clean it. Yeah. Fair enough. But anyways. It's that, exciting. If one knife right now, that one because I'm so stoked on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, one knife for the rest of my life. Uh, I'd go folder. Folder. Yeah. I don't know. It just seems right. Yeah. But I haven't found it yet. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say what folder. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I haven't found it yet. In fact, I was I was having a conversation with Stephen, our local um, knife connoisseur. Yes, definitely. That's French. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, man, I haven't bought a knife in a minute, in a good minute. Because I keep waiting for like this thing to come and sing to me. And this is the thing. This is the thing. And this is this happens with motorcycles, cars, bicycles. It happens across the board. Guys get into something, or they've been into it for a long time, and they they're they're like, I want the perfect one. Like I want the motorcycle that I can like go off road with, and that I can like do a cross country trip with. Yeah. And this and that. But the reality is, is like then that motorcycle is going to suck because it does everything kind of good and does no not one thing. Yes, well. but they're they're so close. They're, they're like <laughs> three quarters of an inch. Like I, like I said, like I said. No. <laughs> Anyways. What's I'm going to do? i just start making knives. All Guys, right. let us know. You want Ben to start Dude, making I, knives? I've got, got a work sharp. There you <laughs> go. You just grind them on a work sharp. Love Dude, it. Dude, they have that attachment. <laughs> I'm on it. Do it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments we should hit there, Zach, before we sign off? Uh, Graham Howe said, uh, we love Graham what's Howe. up? Hey, Graham Howe. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Uh, let's see. We did like an entire episode to Graham House comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing big. Nothing okay. big right here. Yeah. The, right. Somebody said that the green bench made looks a lot like the Mora knife, and they love it. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's that style. The Puko is that yep. style of knife. Um, yeah, so a lot of fun. Love it. Guys, during the holidays, we're going to be doing a few other live streams, and uh, what we expect is that you guys order us pizza. So I'm just going to prime you for that. I like pineapple on my pizza. Zach does not. He feels like that's heresy. <laughs> no, and... I'm a pineapple Oh, guy. are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if you don't have... What type of an animal are you if you don't put pineapple on your pizza? There are people out there that don't. That's disgusting. They're watching us now. I know they are. <laughs> <laughs> Your little ham, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of hot sauce. Done. Done. I love it. <laughs> so, guys, uh, we'll have more live streams coming out for you. If you want to be notified of live streams, first of all, you need to subscribe. And second of all, there's this little... Uh, little bell notification icon on YouTube that you need to uh, click that or tap it and you'll get notified. So just now when we started, I actually got a notification. Yeah, a notification on my phone. That we're live. So $100 knives, your face, yep. notification Yeah, on my unfortunately phone. my face. Sorry about that, but we had to do it. Had to do it to But him. if you put the notification on there, you'll get the live stream when it comes on. And uh, other announcements? I think that was about it. I think we're there. Hmm. It's been fun. What are you going to buy next week? I don't know. There, there's actually sometime soon we're supposed to be getting the My Carta Biblio. And I'm going to have to do the My Carta Biblio when it goes. You have an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens that a lot of knives that I'm really interested in are coming out at the same time. That's all. It is what it is. Good thing you can sleep in your car. You guys can support me in this. <laughs> Give me some support. Give me some love. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching Knife Bander. We'll have another video coming out for you next week.